What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about lithium batteries. We've got three different brands up here. First, I have a Evolution 60 amp hour battery, charger, brackets for installation. Next, we have an Eco battery, 72 amp hour, 48 volt. It's with everything it comes with, converter, LCD gauge, wires for the gauge, bolts for the battery leads, onboard charger, and the mounting hardware. And the other one we have up here is the Allied drop-in replacements. These are the size of an eight volt battery, direct replacements, and here's the charger they use. A couple differences in the three. We'll start with the chargers. Evolution gives us the option to run either a onboard charger where we would take two leads and directly wire to the negative and positive and this would stay in your cart and then you would just pull this out to charge your cart for an onboard charger the bracket system is pretty nice this is for a precedent it unfolds and from here to here goes to the inside of the bottom of the cart and the battery would thread in right here Evolution also has a power button on the side and then I don't have it right here but I'll show you a picture of it with their LCD screen it just has not come in yet theirs runs back to the key switch and their pattern their actual battery gauge turns on and off with the key which is a nice feature the batteries themselves are pretty good batteries so far we got a couple out there we don't have any problems as far as the product goes but as before you know in the other evolution video we put out customer service sector is still an issue with this company they're working on it but we'll see the jury's still out no one really knows what's going to go on with these guys so far not good products are good customer service is not warranties trying to get things don't know how good they actually are. The other brand is the Eco Battery brand, which we've installed a few of these so far. Installation is straightforward, battery performance is great, no issues or complaints with anybody that we know. It does come with the LCD screen, which you do have options to set amp hour, percentage, battery, and we're gonna go over, we're actually gonna install this battery today in a DS. And we'll kind of go over that. I'm not going to actually show the whole installation of it. We're just going to show what the car looks like before, some of the performance, what the speed does, and afterwards with the performance of the battery and the install. And maybe we'll show bits and pieces of it. But when you get the Eco battery, this is what you'll get here. You'll get this, the converter for 48 to 13.5 volts is included, which is very nice. The battery gauge is included and the charger comes to an onboard charger like we talked about before. So we're going to take this, we're going to go, you know, negative to positive. We're going to bolt this into the cart and then from there on the cart, the charger is going to go wherever the cart goes and we just plug it into our 110 outlet and that is it. So pretty straightforward with these really good batteries, great customer service, very responsive talked to him quite a bit so far these guys are winning me over as a dealer to convert lithium batteries with eco battery our last one we have here is an allied battery i like the drop-in replacement their setup here would be one battery on a 48 volt this would be 30 amp hour and this is actually a dry box it's just actually there's nothing in it um they sell these dry boxes for storage. You can put them in there. These one battery would be 30 amp hour. The second battery would be 60 amp hour. That is their class one that they talk about getting for a stock golf cart for a 60 amp hour setup, 48 volt. This is their battery gauge. I am not real big fan of how they set this style up one if you put this on the dash there's no clean way to do it because the wires are there two the wire is actually really short so their design is actually to go underneath the seat they like these to be mounted underneath the seat which is not a 
I don't really like that because the whole point of the battery gauge is so you can see it. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that. Not to flip open your seat and check how much battery life you have. I don't know, they might have an onboard charger available. I believe they do, but I have to double check. Don't quote me on that. But if not, they ship you with the correct one to go right into your cart because they are more of just a direct swap in replacement is how they're running things. One thing I wanted to touch on was I believe I forgot to touch on Allied service. Uh, Allied is great customer service as well. You pick up the phone, they answer, they'll be helpful. They also have helpful information on what size battery amp hour you should be looking at depending on what cart you have and everything like that. Eco battery displays that as well too. Evolution's not so much about selling their batteries, more about selling their carts, but they do have batteries available. Possibly at this time they don't, but they might in the future. So we just ended up getting this one. No, today we're gonna take the Eco battery and we're gonna put it in this cart. Now this cart has the 412. Customer brought it in, batteries are weak. We opted over the price of lead acid and we went into the lithium. One thing I didn't talk about with these, eight year warranty on the Allied, eight year warranty on the Eco Battery, five year warranty on the Evolution. You can find all the battery specs and data sheets for each one of these batteries if you go to their sites. If you need help finding them, we can help you find it. We'll drop a link in the, in the video here and give you some more information for what you're looking for. You can also comment, message, we'll help you in any way. We do these quite often. <clears throat> So this car with the batteries are kind of weak. It's tired. Um, we'll take it off for a drive and we'll show you what it's doing right now as far as how it performs, what the speed it's doing, and what we're getting. Do a little takeoff test. Weak batteries. Really getting nothing here these are weak batteries lead acid 12 volt batteries are pretty weak the wind's probably pretty bad you might not be able to hear me but we're gonna go ahead and take this and change these out see what the eco does all right guys we're back got the battery installed um insulation wasn't so much straightforward it was our first time um, installing one of these DS's that had four 12 volt batteries in it. Uh, we actually had to get on the phone with Eco Battery and figure out some things because the battery did not fit with the mount that we had before. And we had to make some modifications to it, which was no big deal. Um, got the charger mounted up right here. We put a new piece of angle in to support the battery with the strap. Got everything else wired back in. Onboard charger, power to the cart. Customers, customers, 48 to 12 volt converter to run all his accessories. One thing we haven't done, let's test it out. And we've seen what the car did before with the old lead acid batteries in. Let's see what it does with the lithium. Good amount of pickup. Not enough to spin the tires, but so there's the gauge display. Ninety-nine point eight nine percent solid on battery. The eight volt batteries. When you have the six eight volts in there, the tray is different than when you have the four twelve. So their setup is the six eights. Um, so we kind of found that today. Talk to them guys. They're gonna figure that out. We sent them some measurements. Um, so hopefully they'll work on that and design something different. These guys, I wanted to show you a cart that they were in. Um, I have kind of in a DS and a precedent. I'm gonna walk over here and show you the DS right now. So this is the DF setup on the Allied. Um, you could put them in any position you wanted. This one did have that six eight volt batteries in it so the tray was different so the eco battery should fit in here 
In this tray, if you have this set up for a very simple install, ours didn't fit, so we kind of had to move it. But this is the Allied setup. We straight dropped it in, used the same battery strap, used the same cables. Very simple, straightforward. The only thing I do not like on this is just the battery gauge itself. Now you can put a different battery gauge in, possibly yes. Allied is working on that. I did talk to them about that as well. Um, because their gauge does some goofy stuff when you're driving, it moves around, shows 0%, then comes back up to 30. So it's very kind of hard to read and not exactly know where you're accurate on your battery level. The Evolution has a very nice battery gauge that comes on and off with the key. So the LCD display turns on and off with the key, which is a nice feature. The Eco battery always stays on, as well as the Ally battery always stays on. Um, you can do extra wiring to get them off, but it's just not from their factory, so that's not how their kits are set up. Uh, maybe they'll change some things in the future, but this is a couple pros and cons on the different batteries, um, things we found out so far on them, and kind of how it is going and selling them. There's so many out there. These are the three. Plus, we also had Roy and Powell at one point in time. We haven't sold a couple of those. So their installations are same kind of same thing as the eco battery on the DS. You got to cut some stuff uh, to get their brackets in there to fit to clear the seat. Other than that, they're all going to kind of have their little torques as you're changing things differently. Besides from Allied, who is the only drop-in replacement battery. So there you have it, guys. Just some info on some batteries. A little install, a little insight. If you got any questions, comments? Hit us up.